this is yet an unaligned to graph. Um, the equation is 3x minus 4y equals 12. Pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. Alright, with this method, it's very easy to use the table method. And I'll show you why. This is what's called a standard form. So since it's in standard form, it's very easy to use just plug in zeros. Uh, zero for x and zero for y. When you do that, you're going to find the x and y intercepts. So for example, if I plug in zero for x, I get negative 4y equals 12. And you can do that in your head, right? What's You're going to divide both sides by negative 4. When you do that, what's that going to give you? Right, negative 3. So that would be the y-intercept. Now if I plug in 0 for y, look at that. I have 3x equals 12. What does x have to be when y equals 0? Right, it has to be 4. You see that? Now you have the y-intercept, which is this guy, negative 3, negative 3 right there. And this is the x-intercept, which is at a positive 4. And using my straight edge, what side did I use? And that's it. Now there's another way that you can check this. One way is to just solve for y. If you just solve for y, get y all by itself, and you simplify it, it's going to be in slope-intercept form. Then you just check the slope and check the intercepts. And that's it. So in this case, since it's in standard form, the easiest way to go about it is simply by finding the intercepts and using the table. And that's it.